All right, it's 617 here on Wake Up Sea Bus. Our 10 weather impact forecast coming up, but not before trivia. Not before trivia. All smiles here on this Friday. And I have a great question for you guys today. The question is, how much flood water does it take to move a car? So it takes just blank of moving water to move a car in a flood. We have option A, 12 inches, option B, 24 inches, option C, 36 inches, option D, 48 inches. So quick question. Yep. We're talking about a sedan because there's a bus in the picture. Or is it <laughs> yeah. a, an SUV? We're talking about a car, like just your just typical a regular car. Like, think okay. Toyota Corolla. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Name brand. Mm. Uh, I'm thinking A, yeah. a, a foot. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, no, you guys are correct. So it takes 12 inches because this flood water moves at 6 to 12 miles per hour. So that's enough of a velocity to move any kind of a vehicle. It takes a little bit more. It takes about 24 inches for a larger SUV like mm -hmm. you just mentioned. So I'm mm -hmm. glad you brought that up. Yeah, good clarification. But, um, but if we think about it, 12 inches is not a lot of water. No, it's it is not. not. It's no, yeah. no. It's, it's a, just it's a ruler. Right, exactly. Yeah, this wonderful thing called buoyancy. It like mm. can help push the car That's up. That's why so, we say turn around, don't drown. Turn Dylan. around, don't drown. Someone's been paying attention. <laughs> uh, six inches is all it takes to move a person off their feet to sweep you off your feet if you're walking. So that's hardly anything. It's like this much water if you think about it. All right, speaking of water, man, they are getting hammered down here across parts of uh, Kentucky. You don't have to head that far from home to get this heavy rainfall. Take a look at the remnants of Francine right now, but this is as far north as it gets. It does not get any further to the north out here as we have strong high pressure in command. We are dry through the weekend. We are dry through next week. Our only chance of rain comes on Wednesday, and even at that point, it's only 20%, which is nothing too exciting. All right, kind of watch how high pressure and Francine work in tandem with one another. Francine eventually slows down its forward progression and kind of disperses the rainfall. Things just kind of get more subdued and uh, it get, becomes a lot weaker. Right now it is a post-tropical cyclone, and so it's going to start taking on more of those characteristics of a mid-latitude weather system. Notice how by Monday and Tuesday, high pressure is right on top of us. That's why we've been advertising these warmer temperatures for Sunday through all of next week with high sitting right on top of us. Again, you got that sinking air with high pressure, and so that's going to warm up the ground quite a bit. Let's talk about the weekend here. Sunday will be the hotter of the two days and the sunnier of the two days. Saturday, not bad. 88 Sunday, toasty. 90 for the high. It is pretty hot out there. Burn bans, look at this. Southeastern counties here in Ohio. We've actually seen a few more counties be added to the list. Franklin County included, so that's not good. If you are traveling this weekend, absolutely no burning, even if you're going to be camping out there. Got to be very careful with that. A new drought monitor came in yesterday showing that the severe drought has increased to 42%. Last week, that was 31%. So we saw 11% increase. The moderate drought is at 68%, I'm sorry, 78%. Last week it was at 61%, so that is up 17%. So things are definitely not moving in the direction that we want to see it as it pertains to rainfall. It stays hot and it stays dry for the next six to 10 days. Nothing is really changing with this weather setup anytime soon. And as we go towards uh, next week, don't forget on Tuesday, we've got the full moon. And so this is going to be the full harvest moon on Tuesday. It's a waxing gibbous right now. It's at 65% bright, but don't worry by next week. That should be beautiful out there. It stays hot though throughout the week as temperatures climb up to the middle end of the 80s. It is now 10.